There has been considerable debate about the evolutionary origin of the red wolf. Some scientists feel that rather than being a unique wolf-like species that evolved in the American South, it is actually a hybrid between coyotes and the gray wolf that once inhabited this area. The red wolf was listed as an endangered species in 1973, initiating protection and a captive breeding program by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. This captive breeding program began with 12 founding individuals considered to be pure red wolves based on their appearance and the lack of coyote-like traits in their offspring. Several hundred red wolves have been produced by the captive breeding program and have been the source for a single reintroduced population in eastern North Carolina. After studying the red wolves selected for the captive breeding program, Robert, Wayne, and colleagues report on the first complete genome sequences of the red wolf and related species. Further analysis revealed no genomic evidence for a unique evolutionary origin of the red wolf. Rather, it appears to be a mix of gray wolf and coyote, supporting the hybrid origin theory. Unfortunately, the Endangered Species Act does not protect hybrids. Based on what their study reveals about the red wolves, the researchers feel protection can still be warranted. The red wolf is the only living repository of genes from a unique southern gray wolf that was driven to extinction by trapping programs and agricultural development. The researchers believe it's important to protect the red wolf and preserve this unique gray wolf ancestry.